Hello friends, this is Nikhil Srivastav and uh, I welcome you to my brand new C++ course in which uh, I would like to tell you about the C++ programming language. So just a brief outline about the course and just a brief, you know, uh, a preview of the course, what I'm going to tell in this, uh, in this course. So we are going to st strongly study the object-oriented concept of the C++ programming languages in, in, in great depth in these videos in the upcoming videos on c++ and we will uh, we will thoroughly study the objects of classes object constructors uh, friend functions and then polymorphism inheritance and then exception handling and all these things we will cover in great detail at least uh, what is my capacity i will tell you i will try to tell you all these concepts in good amount of detail so this is uh, what i plan to do in this video so uh, so my effort will not be uh, to uh, you know uh, in this uh, in this series of videos i will not go on to the basics of programming i assume i will be assuming that you have some amount of exposure to programming you have some experience of uh, writing basic programs involving loops and if conditions and everything uh, this i assume so if you have not studied it so then better is that you have some you take some introduction of c programming language and then you watch my videos so this will be very good so let us start uh, with the introduction to c++ so uh, so c++ was developed by bajan straustrup in bell laboratories so uh, mr bajan straustrup uh, developed uh, so he was previously working on one language that was called simula and uh, that uh, that had some features of object, object orientation and through that uh, he developed uh, C++. So, so initially uh, it, uh, you know C++, C++ was developed by him in the years somewhere around 1980s and then uh, previously it was uh, previously this uh, language was named as named as C with objects but later in the year 1983 it was named to C++. So this is a like brief history of C++. I would not go into very uh, deep historical details of C++. Um, so what is C++ is, uh, is the most important question to ask. So C++ is an object oriented programming language. And if we have studied C language, then we have seen that C is a structured program. You know, it is a procedural programming language or a language in which you think in terms of functions. But C++ is an object-oriented programming language. So that means uh, in C++ we think in terms of objects and classes. And then uh, you can always say that C++ is a superset of C. That means in your C++ program you can also write a C application. That is why C++ is backward compatible with C also. So it is like in, in, in C had some amount of features and then C++ added some more features. So that is what is so very specific about C++. For example, you know, if I just, uh, I would like to explain, for example, uh, if, uh, if this is your, uh, this is your, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'll just, uh, if this is suppose your uh, C, C language, and then this is, you know, this outer subset is, you know, this is what is called C++. So C++ is a superset of the C programming language and it adds object oriented features to C programming language. And, uh, you know, C++ can also be defined as what? It can also be defined as C with objects. So this is uh, some, uh, some amount of uh, brief details about C. And uh, my advice uh, watching all these videos is that you please, uh, so programming as far as what I have seen is that programming is a task that uh, you have to practice a lot. So you keep on practicing and uh, you get some errors, you try to resolve those errors. With that, you know, with this uh, getting a lot of errors and resolving those errors and slowly and gradually you become you become expert programmer. So it's not, it's not like that, that you can become a good programmer within, you know, within short duration of few days. It requires a consistent effort. So be consistent in your efforts. And C++ is a kind of object-oriented programming language. So it is a good start to learn object-oriented technologies. I mean, there are some other object-oriented programming languages like Java or C Sharp. Uh, so you can choose any of them. And basic motive is to understand what is object orientation. And C++, you can choose to be you know, one of the very popular languages. So you can choose this language also for studying what is object orientation. Okay. 
thank you so much for watching my videos and please uh, uh, my advice uh, follow my advice and try to practice a lot i'll be i'll be giving a lots of hands on in my videos so whatever application i develop just try to develop those applications on your own as we go along with the video series okay thank you so much and please do keep watching the rest of the videos thank you